Tiger puts arcade action in the palm of your hand. Games like Batman. Choose your weapons in this four-level game of action as you jump from rooftop to rooftop trying to get through six vicious henchmen to get the Joker. Tiger Electronic Handheld Games. Since the 80s and all through the 90s, these amazing portable handheld devices have been entertaining and exciting us with their unique designs, incredible graphics, great controls and incredible music. Forget the Game Boy, throw your Sega Game Gear away because Tiger Electronic Handheld Games are the greatest. <laughs> the greatest. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't take that seriously anymore. Tiger Electronic games are terrible. They have terrible controls, graphics that are barely graphics, and music, well... Yeah, we can't really call that music. But, after saying all that, I have a soft spot for the Tiger games. I don't know why, when I see or play them, a wave of nostalgia comes over me. I still think they're terrible, but terrible in a good way. Like a movie that's so bad it's good. There were so many of these games and each one was based off video games and movies or anything else they could get a license for and I loved that. I had quite a few of these as a kid including the one we're reviewing on this video and I never liked playing them. I loved looking at them. Each handheld device had its own special look and artwork. It was great finding one based off your favourite game or your favourite movie character. I'm sure I'll be reviewing lots more Tiger Electronic games in the future but let's get to the one I'm reviewing today. Sonic the Hedgehog. What do you get when you cross a tiger with a hedgehog? Electronic Sonic! It's Tiger's new Sonic the Hedgehog handheld game. Sonic fun for kids on the run. Energize yourself with power sneakers and the invincible cube. Use the supersonic spin attack to smash Dr. Robotnik's evil robots. Sonic the Hedgehog, supersonic fun for kids on the run. New from Tiger. So here we have the Sonic the Hedgehog Tiger Electronic game. And like I said before, I never really like playing these, but I love looking at them. I love the design of them. So let's take a closer look at this one. So we have Sonic the Hedgehog there in his classic pose. A bit of Sonic there. I love the background tiles there as well. And with all Tiger Electronic games, they have a little backdrop and all the characters go in the front of the backdrop. You'll see that soon. Uh, Tiger logo, Sonic dashing off there with Sega above it. At the back, nothing amazing. Just all white. You've got the battery compartment, speaker and screws and stuff nothing exciting but the front very nice design got a big yellow button got the d-pad there uh, i think that's a speaker as well i'm not 100 sure but it's a nice design i really do like it and i had this one as a kid very cool design i love it so let's get to the actual game <sighs> yeah <laughs> uh, i don't know how i'm going to record this hopefully it's going to turn out well on camera we'll just have to see hopefully i've got enough lighting and it should be all right so let's see uh, people with headphones, I I guess you should turn him down a little bit. I don't know how loud this is going to be. And oh, just mute it anyway. It's absolutely terrible music. So who wants to listen to that? <laughs> so yeah, here we go. So here's the amazing music for the Tiger Electronic Games Sonic the Hedgehog. Here we go. Is it going to start? Oh, ah, here we go. Right, so let's see if we can start the game. So the big yellow button is a jump. And then, so you sort of go back and forth with the red buttons, you jump up using that, you use a spin attack and with the yellow button and then down, I don't really know what down does actually. Alright, let's mute the music because I'm sure that's very distracting for all of you. <laughs> so basically you got to try and hit, if I can do it, hit all the enemies and the, a lot of the tag electronic games back then do were just confusing and I t there we go I hit one so yeah you don't really know what you're doing half the time so you go across out oh, there you go so you jump up and you hit and then keep going jump up and hit oh no there, oh, there we go uh, see you, you can't really tell what's happening half the time something this one at least is a little bit more precise uh, you can kind of see what's going on in this one, but a lot of Tiger Electronic games, you just you didn't have a clue what was even happening. They were so blurry and just, just terrible looking. Even here, I just... <laughs> I don't really know what's going on. Oh, no, I hit something there. So, yeah, just dash that way. Um, right, can I hit that? There we go, hit that enemy. Uh, I'll bring it a bit closer so you can see it a bit better. Um, <laughs> like I said, this is literally five minutes if that of um excitement and then ugh, i'm dead 
it's it's just it's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. Is that Doctor Robotnik? I didn't know there was even bosses in this. Gonna beat him? <laughs> just bashing the button. I don't know what's going on. Did I beat him? I think I think I might have beat him then. So down. I don't know what it does. Then you got to jump up. That jumps obviously, and then that one goes backwards as well. But yeah, like I said, they're just very boring. That's the best way I can put it. But I do have a nostalgia for them. What happened? Did I did I do it? Did it go to level two? I don't know. And like I said, the backdrop doesn't change. It's all built in there. Do I start? What's going on? <laughs> oh, there we go. I don't know what's going on then. So yeah, it's just it, it's just this. This is the whole entire game. But back in the nineties, these were the thing, and the eighties as well. Type electronic games were huge, and people just loved these. Even though I've never heard of anybody who actually loved them to play them. I just heard all my friends liked them just because it, it was their favourite character of something. Uh, I'm going to put this music on for a bit longer and see what you think of <laughs> oh, a bit of gameplay. Here we go. If it starts. There we go. Enjoy the beautiful music. So that was Sonic the Hedgehog Tiger Electronic Game. There's not really that much to say about it. It's fine, it works fine, it is a game, it's playable, but it's just not that entertaining. It's a little bit boring. Even for kids, I think kids would get very bored of it very quickly. But there was just something about them. It might have just been the design. I don't know. It might have just been the fact that it was my favourite characters on the you know on the front of it. I don't know. But they were so popular Tiger Electronic games. And I, I do like them, but I don't like them. It's very hard <laughs> to um, describe, but I'm sure a lot of you understand. And comments below, I'm sure some of you will let me know what you think of Tiger Electronic games as well, and which ones you had as a kid. And hopefully I can review some of those in the future, see how different they are from this one. So thanks for watching everybody. I'll leave you a little bit of gameplay now so you can see the game in full swing, but I won't torture you with the terrible music. I'll play some classic Sonic. So here we go. Thanks for watching everybody. Like, comment, subscribe, etc. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.